So welcome back. I hope you can hear me. Uh, good afternoon again. Um, I'm delighted that so many of you have joined us for the next few talks um, that are fo focusing on the care of women with ICC before and during pregnancy, during labour and the postpartum period. Uh, my name is Antonio de Marvao. I'm a clinical lecturer in cardiology. Uh, I'm specialising in inherited cardiac conditions and maternal cardiology, and I'm currently based at St Thomas's, uh, where I'm doing obstetric medicine. I just have a few slides to share to kind of set the scene for the afternoon. Uh, why is ICC in pregnancy important? Why is this a separate session? Uh, where we know that cardiovascular disease is present in up to 4% of all pregnancies, so not uncommon at all. This is obviously a combination of congenital, inherited uh, and acquired cardiovascular disease. Uh, but they are a major cause of maternal neo uh, neonatal morbidity and mortality. From the ICC point of view, uh, rapidly improving access to family screening, to genetic sequencing, uh, is increasing the numbers of women uh, with um, either pre-symptomatic disease or that we know are carriers of genetic variants. And we know both of these subcohorts of women are at increased risk of cardiovascular events, so should be followed up more closely during pregnancy. Uh, it is also important that these, uh, this information is uh, taken into account when discussing family options and contraception uh, every time they're seen by a cardiologist or any other healthcare professional. Uh, many of you will be familiar with the EMBRACE report in the UK, so this is the confidential inquiry into uh, maternal um, mortality and morbidity. So the last one we have is from 2015-2017, and in that period 209 women died in during pregnancy or up to six weeks after. And of these, uh, 48 died of cardiac disease. And you'll see that there in that uh, pie diagram, there's the split of causes of death uh, and why it is so important that ICC community is, import is, is aware of these issues. So um, about 11% died of aortopathies that we just discussed. 27% of myocardial disease, so cardiomyopathies, 18% of sudden arrhythmic death, so most likely um, channelopathies, long QTs and other disorders. So overall, uh, about 60-70% of women that die during pregnancy are of inherited cardiac conditions. Uh, this is a very complex slide. I, I don't expect you to, to read it all, but this is the Modified World Health Organization uh, model of classification of maternal cardiovascular risk. It, it is not perfect, uh, but it is endorsed by the SC and it divides all women with cardiac disease going to pregnancy to five main groups by condition and then it allocates a, a risk. And you'll see that as we go right on this table, the risk increases and we'll find most uh, of our patients. So you'll see that uh, LV impairment, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, previous peripartum cardiomyopathy uh, and also the uh, aortopathies uh, are there. And if you see at the bottom of those tables, MWH03, MWH04, risks of 25%, 40% of a cardiovascular event, a MACE during pregnancy. So very high risk. So we need to be aware uh, and we need to manage these women very closely. And finally, the last slide is why uh, this uh, Report Embrace uh, also looks at each case individually by a group of assessors, and they found that in 27% of all the women that died, improvements to care would have made a difference to outcome. Um, so we all need to be more aware, better trained. <laughs> 